What's up guys, I'm Aaron Lavoy, the Midwestern Hoof Trimmer. I'm going to take you through this Big Mama's Crooked, Twisted, Soul Separating Rock Filled Hoof. Not really, it's not that bad. This is just a maintenance trim, but she is on the verge of all those things happening, and that's why we do the maintenance. So right now, I'm just cleaning up some of the loose hoof horn and assessing the hoof. What I see on this inside claw, or the claw to your left, is it's slightly out of balance. And what I'm seeing on the lateral claw, the claw to your right, is she's starting to shed, but the hoof hasn't completely separated. Therefore, it's starting to pack in with a little bit of debris. Now, this hasn't caused her to be lame yet, but it is causing her to be uncomfortable or not as comfortable as possible. And as you could see, there were some stones in there that would have eventually caused a problem. Lucky for her, she's getting a maintenance trim, and that's what maintenance is all about, is prevention. Now, we're just making sure there's no more little stones in the white line. Double tap our knife to get it any debris out of the hook. All right, now I've got the grinder and I'm gonna work each claw's length and sole thickness and balance from left to right and front to back. Now these wheels are special for hoof trimming, nothing like you're gonna buy at Home Depot. They have replaceable carbide bits in them and they're extremely sharp. Now I've tilted this claw to the inside because it was wearing more on the outside and less on the inside. Now I'm going to shorten her length up to the correct length. That dark spot that you see at the bottom of the, that toe, that is just pigment, that is not a problem. As a hoof trimmer, it's easy to tell the difference between a good dark spot and a bad dark spot. All right, now the heel on this lateral claw was a little bit high, so I'm bringing that down. She was wearing this claw's toe thickness a little bit more, so this is gonna even that out and balance her pedal bone. Now this claw doesn't need near as much length taken off. I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges of the toe here. This trim is all by design. I'm not just kind of taking off a little bit here and a little bit there. Everything that is removed is removed for a reason. Whoa, easy mama. Our customers are all on a maintenance program. This cow would be a mid-lactation cow, so about 110 days in lactation. And then they get trimmed again at dry off comes out to about an average of two and a half times per year. All right, now that the majority of the trim is done and everything is balanced out, I'm gonna start looking at this spot on the white line where I can see it started to crack and debris is working its way up in there. This is what makes maintenance trims so key, finding these things before they become a problem. While she might have felt the excess hoof horn that was starting to build up, she wasn't feeling these cracks in the white line because the hoof horn is made of dead dehydrated keratin cells so they don't have any feeling but what she can feel is pressure and angles and she would start to feel these cracks when the debris finally reaches the corium and that would turn into an abscess but lucky for her she's getting trimmed about three weeks before this turns into an abscess she's going to walk out of this chute comfortable and happy all right so now i'm just doing a little bit of dishing in between the claws with my knife this area doesn't wear starts to build up a little bit more normally so i'm just smoothing it out making sure there's no friction or touching in between the toes a lot of people ask what's the consistency of the hoof like it's hard to explain but it's harder than a potato and softer than wood all right we're just about done with this tap that knife get anything out from the hook we'll put her down take a look at her side profile everything looks good front to back let's go to the back side and let's see how that right leg looks perfectly balanced. Thanks for watching.